Most of the videos that I do are related to nature, be it birds or the night sky. Those are the things I really enjoy to video. But I also like to fly my drone. And as you may know, I use the drone this winter to help try to locate Zeus, the missing dog. And I also had an opportunity to take some cinematic video along the Mississippi River Bluffs in the middle of a snowstorm. So these are kind of the things that I do sometimes do using a drone. So today's video is going to be a review of the Drone Mask 2, which is a pair of goggles that I've been using with my DJI Air 2S drone. And there's a lot of reviews of this mask that's on the uh, internet nowadays, especially YouTube. And I thought I'd take a different approach to doing a review of the Drone Mask 2. Most of the videos that I've seen show an unboxing and show uh, basically how to use the goggles. But the thing that I have not seen a lot of videos talk about are the benefits of using the Drone Mask 2. And for myself, who uses the DJI Air 2S drone, I found out while looking for a mask or goggles, there was a lot of expense and not that many options available to me. So why do drone pilots need goggles? Well, it depends really what that pilot's intent is, but I think that FPV, first person view goggles, started with drone pilots that were using drones for sports, uh, doing uh, acrobatics, or potentially maybe using them for an indoor setting. And thus started the goggle industry for drones, let's say. And the initial goggles that were out there were electronic and analog. And analog goggles are good enough to actually see where you're flying, but they lack the resolution that you now have today with digital. It's kind of like in the old days of TV, watching something that was uh, analog television, and then all of a sudden now we have digital and we have HD. And you can know the difference of what it's like to actually see something on an HD screen versus a standard television. I mean, it makes a world of difference. As time has progressed, there's also been a need for pilots to use them in an industrial setting. You know, there's a lot of drones out there today that are used to do inspections of bridges or maybe power lines, power poles, things like that. And Again, you're in a situation where you just can't see that detail that you can see with a pair of digital goggles. So that's kind of become the second avenue that's become very popular. And then for those like myself who are part-time recreational and maybe occasionally do things for cinematic video, kind of at a disadvantage if you're trying to fly down a wooded path, for example, and you just can't see the branches and all of a sudden, whoops, there's a branch and your drone goes tumbling to the ground. That, that never happened to me, of course, no. <laughs> so to summarize, there's different goggles for different drone pilots and there's different equipment available based on the drone that you own. The first question is, why do I need goggles? Well, this became apparent to me after flying close along the Mississippi Bluffs or flying down a wooded path in a nice snow-covered setting and then looking for the dog, Zeus, that it was difficult for me to see detail using the system that I was using, which is pretty generic. So when you buy a drone such as the Air 2S, you get with it the drone, batteries, propellers, and a controller. And this controller is the basic model controller that DJI sells. There's no display built into it, and you are using your smartphone to really see where you're flying. And although this is okay for most situations if you're doing recreational flying or where you really don't have to see detail, 
I certainly got to a point this winter where I thought, man, it would be really nice to see what it's like to fly FPV, which is first person view. Being able to look inside a pair of goggles to see what it is that you're doing. <laughs> because without a pair of goggles and having just your smartphone display in an outside environment is not the best because there's a lot of glare there's a lot of brightness from the sun or a bright sky. And smartphones have so many nits of brightness that typically aren't bright enough to compare to a bright sunny day. And especially in the winter when you've got snow on the ground, it's so bright that it's almost impossible to really see any kind of detail using a smartphone or if you were going to be using a tablet. So that's the crux of the whole matter. Without wearing a pair of goggles, I really felt at a disadvantage when trying to fly somewhere where detail is important. So DJI sells a lot of different drones and my drone is the Air 2S. This drone has been out a few years now. I really like it a lot. It'll shoot 5K video and it has good dynamic range. But there's been newer and better drones, I guess, that are out on the market today, including the line of Mavic 3 drones. And the reason why I bring this up is because depending upon the drone that you own, there are different options or less options available to you with regards to drones. In my particular case, the Air 2S only has the ability to use digital goggles if you buy their most expensive RC Pro controller, which runs $1,200. Besides that, you still need a pair of HDMI goggles, and that'll cost you anywhere from probably four to $600. So that's a huge investment. Now, DJI being the leader, they've kind of taken their marching orders, I guess, from the camera industry. The camera, camera industry is known for taking their cameras and adding firmware that gives you certain functions or doesn't. And DJI just announced in the last week that they are now including electronic goggles to be connected to their Mavic 3 line of drones. Unfortunately, I don't own a Mavic 3. I have the Air 2S, which they left out the option for a directly connecting goggles. So with my particular drone, the only way that I can add digital goggles is by buying the most expensive controller they sell, the RC Pro, which is a $1,200 controller. And then on top of that, I need to add a pair of HDMI goggles. So long story short, I'm looking at an investment somewhere north of $1,600 just to wear electronic goggles. And to me, this is not acceptable. I'm not gonna spend that kind of money just so I can put on a pair of goggles. Because I am kind of stuck using DJI's controller, there aren't any other electronic options available to me. If I had a Mavic 3, I could directly connect a pair of digital goggles to their drone, but they're not allowing me to do that with the Air 2S. Besides the $1,600 to $1,800 option, what other options do I have? Well, that brings up the Drone Mass 2. You can use a pair of optical goggles with a smartphone and be able to see rather clearly, at least with the Drone Mass 2. Before I start talking about the Drone Mass 2, however, let's look to see what other options there are out there for a pair of lens type goggles. On the low end, you could go and buy an app for your phone called Litchi, or is it Litchi, L-I-T-C-H-I, that runs $25, I believe. And then you could add a pair of cheap goggles that you slide your phone into for about $25. So for a $45 investment, maybe this would work. Well, I gave it a try. And no, it doesn't work. I could not get anything clear as far as a view out of that option. Now, the way it works is, is that Leachy 
sends out a signal that produces two images on your smartphone. And then the goggles are 3D type goggles, so you almost see a 3D view, which is kind of cool if it would work. Uh, where your text, your uh, altimeter and so forth, all the parameters of the drone kind of stand out away from the actual video. But I could not get it to look right. No matter what type of glasses I wore, no matter how I adjusted it, it just I was seeing double. It was never that clear. So I gave up on that option and started looking into other goggles that would work. And the one I found was Drone Mask. Now Drone Mask is on their second version of these goggles. The first version uh, worked quite well, but didn't give you the ability to actually uh, touch the screen. The new version has flaps on the bottom that you can run your index finger up into your display if you have to touch it while you're flying. It's still a little awkward and cumbersome, but it works. Let's take a look first at some of the cons to wearing a mask like this. The first one I would say is it's front heavy. And especially with my Galaxy 9 Plus, it's a big phone and that adds a little more weight. Secondly, I found that the only way I could get them to focus was to pull them out as far as they will go away from my eyes. So this even makes it more front heavy. But there is a solution to it. You really can't see where you're going anyway, so you might as well just tilt your head down when you're, when you're actually flying. And that does get rid of a lot of the pull that you might get from, these, from the mask. Now a second thing is I'm age challenged. I'm getting up there in years and I used to have 20-20 eyesight, but I don't anymore. These glasses I'm wearing today are progressive lenses. They're almost 20-20 near the top, but they are magnified down at the bottom for reading. So because they are a variable optic, it doesn't work inside the goggles, nor would bifocals. So there is a solution to this, just wear a pair of reading glasses where the optics are the same magnification throughout the lens. Then you will not have any problems at all. So that's what I've been doing. I put on a pair of reading glasses and put the goggles over that. They fit over glasses. And now I have no trouble at all seeing my display in full resolution. Because I have a Galaxy 9 Plus, which is a big phone, it's almost too immersive. Uh, it, you kind of see off all the way to the edge of the screen. And uh, I don't know how to explain it, but when you're looking around, it's a little bit harder to see things because you have to look all the way into your peripheral vision. So if I hit a smaller phone, this might work a little bit better. Now let's talk about the positives. The first one is the cost, which is kind of a negative, but it's kind of a positive. So in my particular case, using the Air 2S, if I went with digital, it would be super expensive, $1,600 to $1,800. For myself, $180 is a lot less expensive than a really expensive pair of digital goggles. So for me, that's actually a positive. The resolution is really good. I've been flying these goggles now for the last month and I can see flying down a path that's wooded and has a lot of branches. I did a test with it around our house here and we've got a lot of trees and I was able to successfully fly the drone through a tree-lined path without worrying about crashing into a branch. I could see the branches. So for me, that's a big plus. Now another thing too is if you were out doing a lot of flying, digital goggles have a built-in battery. And because they're actually running some form of a LCD display, that does cut into your power. And I could see that if you were out flying for maybe two or three batteries worth in a drone, you might be getting to a point where that goggle is really getting run down. Whereas with wearing a pair of optical goggles, you're using your smartphone. And guess what? Because your smartphone is enclosed inside of the case, it's not as bright. So it's not using a lot of power on the smartphone to actually see where you're flying. And I could see 
literally going for the whole day and not have to worry about your phone actually dying on you. So the battery life is really good when wearing a pair of optical goggles. Now another thing too, I mentioned DJI, but there are other drone manufacturers out there. There's uh, Skydio for one, Autel's another one, and both of those also use your smartphone as a display. So if you were to buy these goggles, it's an investment. If you decided at some point to go with some other drone manufacturer or buy another DJI drone that uses a smartphone, you already have a pair of optical goggles that you can use into the future with your same smartphone. Here's a few final thoughts. If you want to experience what it's like to fly immersively, and be able to see what your drone is seeing or see things in a bird's eye view. I really do believe that the Drone Mass 2 is your best option out there if you want to get a feel for it and not invest a lot of money. $179 is an investment, but it's a lot less of an investment than going with electronic goggles. And let's say you had a Mavic 3, which DJI now allows you to connect a pair of digital goggles you still have to buy the digital goggles and they run $500 and then you have to use the DJI hand remote controller which is another $250. So at a minimum you're investing $750 with the digital pair of goggles and that's on the low end. And if you have an Air 2S like I have, your options are minimal. You're gonna run $1,600, $1,800 in a digital world. So the Drone Mask 2 really does make sense. So thank you Drone Mask for sending me these goggles and thank you for watching.